Hi, everybody. I'll just take a minute. I was reading a book uh, last year called Green Lights by Matthew McConaughey. Yes, the actor, <laughs> Green Lights. Uh, he was really uh, very, very interesting in this book. It's not really a book. It's kind of a scrapbook of his life. He's a pretty smart guy. Uh, and whether you like his acting or not, or even if you like the book or not, what I thought about was how, how we all uh, can perhaps capture little things. That's what he did. He captured little things, little vignettes from his life, and then started putting the puzzle together for us. Uh, actually, he helped us start putting the puzzle of his life together as I read the book. And I thought to myself, uh, you know, when I'm at a meeting, when I'm presenting, when I'm making a point, uh, it's not a bad idea to capture the little things. What is it that's a metaphor that I can use? What What's the etymology of a particular word, an ordinary word that you and I use all the time to capture something, to, to help make it even more meaningful? I remember a long time ago, somebody told me that the word sarcasm uh, comes from the ancient Greek word sarcosmos, which means to tear the flesh like dogs. And I thought, wow, what an image that is. Because I always thought sarcasm was about how smart you were and how funny you were, because I'm Irish, and that's kind of how we talk to each other. Uh, the outside world doesn't always talk that way. They they feel a little bit of the hit. They feel a little bit of the humor and the tug, a little bit of the funny and the conflict. And so uh, when we teach, we could take an ordinary word, of course, look it up, look for the old English, old French, Latin meaning of the word, and that makes it even more useful for the people that are listening to us. Uh, you might think about that later today when you're going to give your next presentation, especially with that very special word you want everybody to remember. I'm Kevin O'Connor, and I will see you next time.